How goes it, everybody? I'm Cujo, and welcome back for another All of Fabric 6. <laughs> I got that wrong in the last episode. I corrected myself shortly after, but we still got it wrong. We need to remember that it is not all the mods. Oh, and it's almost in a dark time. It's perfect timing for me to start an episode. Um, so we got our avocado tree over here. I've trimmed off all the branches or all the leaves except for... These things grow so slow. Maybe they don't grow as fast because they don't have the leaves. I don't know. Don't know. Uh, we'll leave that. We're getting out of that food today anyways. It looks like it's getting to be dark time. Can we sleep yet? Yes. All right. Now that it's daytime, we, uh, we did some things off camera. Um, so just some basic getting things going type things. Vanilla-y things. We got a bunch of cows over here i've been breeding them up a bunch of uh pigs over breeding them up a bunch of chickens over here breeding them up and a bunch of sheeps breeding them up all right so we need to get into i have a bunch of stuff saved up here this is what i well first we should get into our quest rewards we didn't accept them last time but this is all the stuff we kind of want to get into today so let's go into our quest rewards i might just do collect all and see what we get we got some manuals and some loot bags and the Certus Court, Certus Court's knife. Oh, we got seven of these ones. Let's go up to our newly renovated storage area. I kicked the friggin' noobs out of this floor, and we're gonna be up here. This is our storagey area. We got some chesticles or not chesticles, fern eye going up here. Um, now this we'll put this up here for now. Um, moddy type stuff. Uh, we'll put in here. I want to get this out of there. Chanted books are going to go there. We'll put all the moddy type stuff, I guess, in here. We got to remember that we have these books so we don't create them later. This is all raw materials and foods right here. So let's get our loot bags. Let's do the common loot bag first, I guess. We got 24 iron ingots. Congratulations us, agriculturist one. We got some grilled cheese. Some sticky something pudding, something noodle soup. We're just getting... I like these. We get all kinds of food with this. Utilities loot bag. Oh, we got a white elevator. And those helped us actually get more quests. Um, so let's get some quests done. We got some more loot bags. So let's get those done and get another quest. And it's just a friggin' over and over again. Over and over again. There we go. Sushi loot bag. Okay. So let's go in our food because we got a lot of stuff here, right? We're going to have to expand our storage here eventually. That's a really good food. 28. Let's take sticky toffee pudding for now. Ooh, grilled cheese isn't too bad. Oh, we got one more utility one. Oh, wow. We got an entangled bag. Entangled bag is like a... An ender chest, if you will. I don't know what these symbols up here mean, but it's like a or ender bag. It's like having an ender bag. Um, we don't have an ender chest right now, so we're going to put those in there for now. Um, iron, let's put away. We're dragging on here. Okay, let's get into doing some crazy type things. Okay, so we're going to need some andesite. I believe we have some in here somewhere. I know we've kept some andesite there we go and what else we're we gonna need here zinc nuggets or we can use iron nuggets do we have we have a lot more iron than we do zinc so maybe we'll take some of these and we'll use we didn't really need that many there we go <laughs> that's much better okay so what do we get again we got kibby kibby utilities I do want to get into the kibbe food stuff because my wife is actually Lebanese and we make kibbe all the time. I'm probably actually making some kibbe today. So making gold kibbe and uh, cursed kibbe and diamond kibbe. And we'll get into that eventually. I've never used this kibbe mod, but super cool. Oh, we got, oh, okay. The, those I'm guessing is how we color the bag. So that's cool. Um, let's put those with the bag, which is... I'm getting lost here. This chest. Alright, so we need to get some andesite things going. 
So we'll make a stack of those. That's going to create a, or get a quest for us, right? So let's make some shafts, which I just, we'll make a stack of shafts also. And then we're going to need some wood. We have some wood in our pocket, so we'll use that. And we need to make some, let's make like 10 of these for now to start. And then there's nine of the small cogs. I would like to make... We need to get some andesite casings, which is just an andesite on stripped wood. Do I have any logs in here? Yes. Uh, we forgot our axe. We gotta go get our axe. We got our log set up. We need an axe. Is that not how we do these? Oh, I'm using the wrong thing. <laughs> the zinc nuggets and andesite ingots look very similar. It <laughs> threw me off for a second. I'm like, I know this works. I have done this before. There we go. It's weird that we get the quest without even picking it up. All right, so now we have some of the casings. Should be able to make a gearbox or two. Let's make like, hmm, how many should we make? How many can we make? We can make two. And then we're just missing some more small cogs. Let's make six of those to start. And then we need a water wheel. So we need some uh, slabs. I want to make two water wheels. So that'll be good there. And then we can get into what I wanted to do with these. Because I, I mentioned last time I wanted to make the beef stew. And I want to do that because... It's a thing I would like to do. I, I, we fell into the water, and I don't have a way out over there. I made this little waterfall deal. It's nothing special. It's just a little waterfall. We may dress it up in the future. I don't know how long we're going to stay here, so I didn't get too crazy with it. But either way, we got a waterfall, and I want to place these into the water. But I need a... Let's just put a log over there for now. And I'd like to place them like this. Maybe we should go out one more. And place them here. We just gotta fix our water. That's not fixing it. There we go, water fixed. So it got to be nighttime and I went to sleep. Um, and I wanted to do something else because I want to get this going, which we can make these plates in the forge hammer, apparently, pretty easily. So if we make three of these weighted deals, I'll go back to plates, forge hammer. Should be able to grab this and maybe we can slap it down over here. So if we just take gold and we put it in here, we can pick a gold plate. Look at that. How many do we need for this? I think it was three. We'll go with three. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's easy way for early game plates and stuff. Um, we have sticks, so we should be able to make this now. There we go. That really helps with uh, doing the creative type stuff. If we take this guy now. All right. It's not going to move fast. It's not going to move fast at all. And we can shaft up him. We're going to make a little secret room back here. 
Nope. But we should be able to rotate, rotate. There we go. Because I want to make grinding wheels and have them against this wall. Let's clear out some space over here. So we're going to need to take a couple of gear boxes. One's going to have to go right here, and that'll get that turning. And I'm hoping these turn the right way so we don't have to reverse them any further. If we slap a shaft on here and here, it looks like they're going to be. We just need to go make up uh, our crushing wheels. I forgot to save those. Ooh, crushing wheels, we're going to need to get into mechanical crafting. Which is... <laughs> we may have gotten ahead of ourselves. We have the setup, though. <laughs> so... What is it? A grinder? Grindstone? Grinding deal? We're gonna have to start with this to make our food. The millstone. <laughs> and we need a hand crank, right? So this will get us started. Then once we get more advanced, we need, do we have any empty drawers over here? I think we do. I think some of these. So this is, we're going to put all our create stuff in this guy. Okay, one other thing uh, we did off camera. I did a little bit of exploring and I went around to, where was it? Just to the north here. In this big village area, there's like a mushroom village. It's got like mushroom dudes that are like brutes. And I found in one of the chests, I found this piece of meat. It is called... An eternal steak, so it never goes away. It just has a cooldown on when you can eat it. So it's like free food all the time. And so we got our grindstone set up. Quick, quick subject change. Uh, let's grab some wheat. We're going to chuck this in the top of here. It gets sucked up, and then we can just sit here and spin this. And with our eternal meat, it gives us like full saturation. So we can embrace the grind. We're grinding all the things. All right, don't tell anybody how much of a derp I am, okay? Okay, let's keep it between us. Um, I freaking set up a whole water wheel thing, and I'm sitting there hand cranking like a scrubby nub. I don't understand why, but we'll get it. We'll get it freaking situated out here. So if we pl plaster that guy on there. We can take a small wheel. So that should speed it up a wee bit. And we want to make one of these a vertical gearbox. And then we can slap the vertical gearbox onto there. We'll put our deal down here. With, we need another small, small uh, crank deal. Small cog, if you will. So if we connect this up here now, we should. There we go. We got otter, otter cranking. Freaking auto crank this right into the hole. We'd, we'd miss the hole. There we go. And this is going to keep going. It will freaking grind on its own forever. And we don't have to waste all of our food doing it. And we can move on to the next thing. <clears throat> all right. We got enough stuff now. We can make some of our beef stew, which I understand is kind of not the best point <laughs> anymore. Uh, but since we have our, our our thing of beef deal there we go 21 of those guys and we are just short meat is the only thing i didn't want to kill all my cows so that's all we got but we got we need a beef stew and fully stuffed look at that we got a freaking awesome amazing meal it's it's actually the same as the other thing we got <laughs> so 
We've done more quests. Let's uh, get those. We got an iron hammer. We got XP. We got a water bucket. And some more loot bags. Let's open to some loot bags. We got an agriculture. We got eight tea from the agriculturist loot bag. Common loot bags. Come and create ones. This is all creative stuff. That's pretty neat. We'll put all that stuff in our creative deal. All right, so now we're going to get into the next things we want to do. I want to get this standard uh, deal going. We need to get... Oh, we need two different colors of wool. We have two different colors because we have a couple different color deals. So if we go like gray and then a white, we should be able to get a gray sleeping bag. And that's all we need from the wool. So we can put it away out of our pocket. And we can get... Uh, we just need the tanks. Which we need iron for, which we got. Look at, I did all the preparings, didn't I? So two tanks. And there's a lot of different things that you can do with this. I don't know what's going on with the crafting stuff. It's actually there. If you like click off of it, it'll pop in. Um I don't know how to use this thing. It's got a crafting deal. It's got buckets, it's got tanks, it's got whoa. Where'd it go? Where is it? <laughs> I can't see where it went to. Okay. I don't know what this does. Doesn't give me a tool tip, but it, it puts it away somewhere where I don't see it. It didn't look like it was in any of the bobble things. So it must have a different slot that it hides in. I don't know if these are just like cosmetic slots or what, but it's cool. It's definitely cool. We can bucket in and out of a fluid and there's a bunch of upgrades. If we took hit uses on this, like we can make a wolf's traveler backpack. Some of these, it says what their special abilities are. Like the wither one is immune to wither effect. Um, grants water breathing and night vision if you do the squid deal. That's not a terrible thing. Works like a sponge and stores water in backpack tanks. Spider ones. I can climb walls, apparently. And then this doesn't tell you anything. But there's a bunch of different things. So I kind of want to compare. We're going to get into the other backpacks now. Um, because I want to see what's better. We need another chest. We're going to need gold and diamond, too. And emerald. Gold, emerald, diamond. I don't have a ton of diamonds yet, so... We're kind of using that sparingly. So if we... How, much, how big... Let's check out each level, right? How big is this? So this is only, like, one row for afraid. If we go into iron, I'm guessing it's probably going to be two rows. What the heck was that? Iron plating? Oh, we just wasted a whole buttload of iron to make this. Hopefully you're used for something useful because I I sure clicked into there, but it didn't put it in. And... Yep, two rows. I guess it's just going to go up and up and up and up. We need a gold first. Don't make the same mistake. This is going to be like a half chest. So, so far, this one's better, right? We got a lot more slots than this guy. So, we're probably going to use our Traveler's deal. That's not too bad. That's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 by 1, 2, 3, but 9 by 5, so 45 slots. Can stuff be stored in this one? Yes can be stored but then you can't craft so it's one two three four five six seven eight by one two three four five six hmm nine by five or eight by six so this is one one slot bigger but it has a lot more functionality but i'm guessing we can put this somewhere maybe Yeah, so we put that that way. And we hit B. We can open up that backpack. This guy, if we put it away, we can hit backslash and we have that. So we have B and backslash. We can carry them both and we will be super amazing.
I believe it's nighttime and there's something scary outside. We're going to sleep it away. All right, so I had an idea. I want to try to get up to iron chests at least, not golds. Probably just iron, which is this, right? So if we hop in here, we need flint and some wood. We have flints. It's in this one. We only have 54. It's not too bad, though. I think it's only one per. We need more wood. All right, so we should be able to get our blank upgrades here, right? We can make 15. That's probably about what we need. We're definitely going to need more iron in our pocket. I want to see if we can... Let's just do one first. I want to see if we can get this straight to... Um, iron, or if we have to go to copper first. Yeah, we're going to have to go to copper first. So how many do we need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we need like 32 of these things. So we got enough wood now to make our 32 um, chest upgrades. So we can go around and right click all these guys. We'll turn them all to get out of the way. So I think this just makes them basically like a double chest as a single chest. So we'll have Not quite a double chest. But we're going to have to reorganize our storage because everything's all kind of funked up now. So I don't think we're going to be able to get all of them up to uh, iron. We have 23 there. And then we're missing iron. So we're going to have to come back for that. In fact, I'm going to go down and I'm going to go mine real quick. And do a little mining sesh real quick. And get our uh, stocks up. But first, we'll upgrade the ones we can. There we go. We got as many up as we can. Do. Are any of these... Like, this one's empty. We can just take it out and put that iron chest we have in our pocket in there. There we go. All right, I'm going to go mine, get some more resources. I'll be right back. All right, so I think we're going to get into this modern industrialization stuff so we can get some stuff uh, going a little bit better. So it wants us to make a steam mining drill to obtain ores directly with any silt touch. Uh, that's this guy. There's a lot of stuff that goes into this. The furnaces we can do, the large iron plates, I think we can make from iron. We get double if we use a hammer. So we should probably make a hammer for that. We did get some iron and stuff. We didn't get a ton. We got just under a stack. All right, I think we have some stuff set up now. It's nighttime again. We're going to sleep. All right, so um, what are we doing here? We need to make some plates. We need 25 of the small plates. To make a hammer. I want to use a hammer because then you get them a little more efficiently. I hope I'm hoping it pays itself off. Did I math wrong? Oh, because it takes two per. Oh my gosh, it's so much iron. We don't didn't have enough iron yet. We're close. I math wrong. I forgot they were more than one per we seriously need one more piece of iron but once we have our hammer then we'll be good oh I just threw our meat on the ground come back to me meat so now I guess I could made this down there we can take this and am I not in a Oh, it's because we don't have these. Ha! 
How did we make extra? Did I math wrong again? Oh yeah, it's 20. <laughs> oh jeez. So we waste a little bit. We waste a little bit of iron because of my math and skills. But now we need two more large plates. Two large plates is going to be eight of of these guys. So we need three more. I think it should pay off, right? So as we get into here, we have our large plates. We need diamonds, furnaces, and a bucket. So there's our bucket. And we need two furnaces. That Why did that not drag? That was weird. Two furnaces, large plates, diamonds. Oh, we need a copper. Oh, geez. This is a whole lot more things we need. I even had them marked and I forgot about it. So we need some copper, okay? Okay, we need one more set of bolts and a plate. This is annoying with this thing. Now we should be good. We'll make our copper drill head. And then we should be able to make our steam engine. Or steam drill. So mine's in the 3x3, three three, which is super cool. Um, I don't believe it has durability. And it has silk touch. Toggle silk touch. I don't... Maybe we'll use silk touch... We'll see. So we need to place fuel inside it, it says. Is it nighttime? No. So let's grab some of our coal, our ligma. Grab the ligma coal. We'll place it, it says by right clicking. Okay, so it's got coal now. And now I think it says right click on a water source to fill up with water. So I have our little sneaky water source down here. We got 100% water. Let's drop down into our mine and check it out. I haven't really shown you the mine, have I? I have different levels set up for different ores. This is our diamond level. Let's just hop down down here to the next tunnel that we are scheduled to build right here. This guy. Oh, it, it's not fast. But it doesn't take durability, which is nice. Like, I've been making iron picks to do this. And this is kind of nice to not have to burn through all my iron to to mine. <laughs> so, yeah, this is pretty cool. I like it. I like that it does the 3x3 three three, no matter what the material is. It just mines through it. Because the pick, if you're doing vein mining on a small square, it will only take like, like materials, like a stone type material or ores or whatever. We've already found some diamonds. This was a good tunnel. We can see how we can... Uh, maybe we can crush those or something to get more diamonds out of them. Then we can get some diamond armor going because we're running low on diamonds. Alright, I'm going to mine with this for a minute. See what we can get and I'll be right back. Alright, so we mined out enough that we had water for. So one strip with our water. I want to see if we can refill this in here. How do we refill out of our backpack? I don't know what these two slots are for. So we could probably use a bucket maybe? I don't know. I'm guessing that's for a bucket. Let's test this. Let's dump this water out somewhere. That's the perfect spot right there. If we take a bucket in our backpack... Okay, it will work there. But the drill won't go there? Okay, it doesn't see it as a bucket. I wonder if I can... No, I can't fill it that way, so... But we can take this, and we can right-click. And now it's full again. Okay. It didn't even consume the water until I, uh... Oh, we had... Oh, that's our water thing right there. Until we, uh... <laughs> put a torch in it and deleted it. So let's look at what we got here. Let's collectify everything up here. So this is what we got. 
we can't really sort it doesn't sort for us uh but we got deep slate diamond ore we got six of them we got three diamonds on our own um we got some zinc and some raw zinc we got a little bit of iron not much iron this isn't really an iron level so um that's pretty neat i need to look at what we can do with this now there's a way we can double them so we get diamond and small pile of diamond dust out of that crush diamond dust out of the maciator and then if we put them in the maciator they give us diamond dust which can then be used to make a diamond plate or four of them make three diamonds or we can make them back into a diamond with industrial tnt yeah it doesn't seem like a good way to to or multiply so crushing looks like our best bet but to get to that again we're gonna have to do get to um bronze right actually no oh, we need bronze for these we need a 21 uh deal thing and we need a bronze casting which is a bronze ingot which is zinc and copper and alloy cementer and tech reborn or a heated mixing deal with copper and zinc to get brass oh it's brass not bronze that's what we're looking for we're looking for brass not bronze i'm dumb but let's go down farther into this uh industrial what's it called it modern industrialization all right so the next thing we need to do is get into bronze which is not the create bronze it's modern industrialization bronze i don't believe they're interchangeable if they are that would be super amazing but we can get um dust tin dust if we take this we'll get four which actually makes it a little bit more so we need uh where's our stuff tin tin and copper we need we'll have we have raw copper so we'll use that and it's three copper two tin so can we make a stack of this bronze Let's see if we have the durability in our deal. There we go. We got all the tins we need. I think we need to get... Yeah, we have... We have enough. Let's make some bronze dust. So we're making way more in a stack. <laughs> we got oh, we got like friggin a lot of stacks almost four stacks we need to smelt this down and we'll get our bronze all right so i think we probably have enough of this done to go over whatever we need to do for the rest of this uh deal here so we're gonna need six plates to make a wrench let's uh get our quests here we can since it's all loot bags Oh wait, actually there wasn't loot bags on these ones. Block of lignite ore. Ligma got a block of ligma and some coke. And a bucket of water. <laughs> Neato. We can probably get some fluid pipes going. What are these copper? Ooh, geez. Copper blades? Copper... There's, oh, there's got to be a better way to do these. <laughs> the crafting of this stuff is not very fun. Um... But let's get back in hand here. So if we take here and throw that in, which has very little durability left. And we need six of these guys. Perfect durability. So then we can take our wrench, which we need to go into a crafting table because it's that deal. And there we go. We got a wrench. Another deal done. Let's see what we got out of our loot bags. Where are they? I like that the loot bags are kind of, um, give you stuff from that. Ooh, 32 copper ore. That's pretty neat. And some 
Iron ore, that's pretty neat too. Let's break down our, our block of ligma. So that's going to be it for today, folks. Thanks for hanging out. If you made it to this point in the video, you are super amazing, and I truly appreciate you. If you got something to say, say it down below. If you liked the video, hit the like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. <clears throat> and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.